Hey guys, it's Jordan here, and today we are going to be making a fighting game. So, I actually started a fighting game a tutorial. I just made the sprites in the background, or backdrop, but I didn't really think I had... Well, that was my only my fifth video, and I didn't think it would get any success. So... I'm actually going to restart that, and, um, yeah, so, and that video actually got, that was one of my most popular videos, so, I'm going to make a, full, now I'm going to, um, restart it and do the full thing, here, just delete this, why is it not deleting, Click. whatever, I just do this, okay, so, let's start off with, Making our um, players. So this is going to be two. So two people will have to play this game. Okay. So now we're going to have like their eye. You know, let's make that a little bigger. You can make yours better than mine. Mine is really bad. And just to be organized, let's name this player. Okay. So, now, let's duplicate that. And all we have to do is make this um, blue and switch it around. So, these are actually... Okay, actually, what I want you to do is to delete this one. And first, make this one smaller. That's good. And now duplicate it so we won't have. So it'll be the exact same size. So duplicate. And as before, do this and bring it around. So put this guy over here and this guy over here. Okay, so now let's make the ground and the backdrop. No, what? Ooh, whoops. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, so I'm just gonna raise that. I don't know why I just did that. I have no idea why I just did that. That's weird. Oh, bees, I was pressing the right button. Okay, so. And select that. You know, let's see if that's big enough. Yep. There we go, and since it's not there, let's just double click this. Okay, and just bring it down to here and here. Um, so now let's just start to add some stuff to it. So when the green flag is clicked, excuse me, um, forever. So uh, before we do this, let's actually make a new variable called y dash velocity and so now we're going to say set that to zero and well let's not have it in here let's put it in the uh, backdrop um what the heck okay it's weird my right click isn't working um okay so now so now let's add zero so we have the variable so now let's say, so for this, so for player one, it's going to be like, when the green flag is clicked, forever, if, so we're just going to now make the jump. So, if we are touching, so, okay, so, if we are, okay, so let's have the and, Let's not have the touching. Let's have the color. Touching color. We're touching the color. So, the color of this ground. Then, and, the key space is clicked. Um, then, we will change. Um, you know what? Actually, let's not have the... Since it's two players, um, I think that would give player one a little advantage for having most of the keyboard. So... Let's actually do 
um, the up arrow. Okay, so if it's touching the ground, well, the color of the ground, and the up arrow is being clicked, then we can one, then we can change, then we can um, set y velocity to ten, and also, so so okay, so if we do this right now, nothing is gonna happen. That's because it's not it's not changing it by um its x component so let's so let's say um let's say set x um to no no whoops it's y component or y value so set y to y velocity Whoops. Wait, whoops. Hold on. I meant um, change. So change y by y velocity. So now let's see. So as you can see, I was touching. <laughs> now it's just going crazy. Um. So yeah, so now let's say um okay, so let's and do another when the green flag is clicked. So forever if I'll just stop this. So forever if um if it's <clears throat> sorry <clears throat> if it's not touching so you can oh whoops. Well, now we know that my right click is working. Here, we'll just take that out. God. It's happening. Well, I'll just take a new one. So, if it's not touching the color of the ground, then... Then we're gonna, um... We're gonna set... So, so actually, we're gonna change this to an if-else block. So if it's not touching the the color of the ground, then then set y velocity to minus one, and and then if it's to give it a cool effect, so then if it's so if it's not touching it, then we can change it by 0.4. See what, let's see what happens. Oh man. We can just make that go a little faster. Here. Whoops. Ooh, why did I just do that? Oh, point. Let's do. Let's experiment. So. Oh man. Oh man, what's happening? Oh man, look. Oh, you know what I did? Oh, it's set to one. And then, oh, whoops. Sorry guys, if it's touching, then else, um, then, um, minus one. There we go. Look at our little jumpy. Okay. So now, let's um, let's make it so he can move left and right. Here. Also, if you see, if we do that, he will fall. Um. So now, what I want you to do is to make a new green flag if the, when the green flag is clicked and um if so do two if blocks if the um 
right arrow is clicked, and also let's do a if the left arrow is clicked. So, so if the if the right arrow is clicked, then um, change so change its X, which is left and right, and Y is up and down. Then, then hold on. See if you do this, it, the X goes higher. See right down here. And if you do this, it will go lower. So if we're going right, then we have to make it go higher. So five, and then change it. Change x here by minus five. Okay, so we have to. Cool. So we have like a little thing. Let's see. Let's make the jump a little. Um. Here, let's let's make the jump a little higher. Fourteen. Cool. Okay, so um, kind of want a better effect with this. Like, see how it's kind of like going into the ground. Kind of like. Now let's just keep it. We can tinker it later. Okay, so now what I want you guys to do. So when we turn right, we should be looking right. And when we turn left, we should be looking left. So first, what I want you to do is, for the rotation style, make that left and right, like that. And also just do for him for later. Um, so that will make it so it will turn properly. So let's just... Put these here so if it's if the key right is being pressed then then it's gonna be 90 and it's gonna be negative 90 um if we press left so let's see Ooh, okay so I guess so the opposites oops so look at that so it kind of I don't, I don't think I centered it too well so well, I centered it pretty well, so oh, if it's not, if it's turning really weird, like, if it goes, like, if you press, like, right, and then it goes all the way over here, if you press left, it goes all the way over here, then you might have not centered it properly, center, center it on this little, I don't know if you can see it, but it's on this little, like, here, I'll see if I can, on this little, like, plus sign here, so you have to put it exactly on that um that will just make it so the rotation is perfect so we have our moving guy um and oh yeah for this tutorial i am not going to make the fighting moves this is just setting up the player now let's just all we have to do for the red guy now is just do all the same code but we're going to have to chain change one little thing and also you see it looks so weird let's clean up okay so um I don't know where that other piece of code went oh there it went um okay so since we have to do so now look what's gonna happen they're both gonna move at the same place Okay, I don't know why he's doing that. Okay. That's weird. Why is the... Something's wrong with the red guy, but whatever. So what I want you to do now is make it so... Um, it, has, it uses the WASD. So to go... So to move right, we're gonna, we're gonna do um, D. So... D and to move left. Um where's hold on wait, so it's A. Oh, I don't know why. I thought it was something else. Um so now let's root. See that's my problem. I don't know why it's doing that. Its rotation is acting weird. 
So, for some reason it's messed up, so just do the opposites. That's why I was asked. That's why I thought something weird was happening. So, yay! Hi, how are you? Bye. <laughs> so now we have our two guys moving. But... Huh, why is the jump... Oh, oh yeah, see, if we both press, um... The, um, a button, then they'll both go. So, what I want you to do is change... All you have to do is change that to W. Okay, so now... Say what? Why are they both? When I press W, they're both moving. And then just that's a scratch problem. Uh, what? I don't know if you yours is doing this, but definitely. Oh, you know what? So all we're going to have to do now is make, so we're going to have to make a new variable called y vel velocity 2. And all you're going to have to do is change all these to 2 because they're both using the same y velocity, but they can't. So... Put y velocity 2 in here. So, yay. So now it will work. Yay. Brilliant. Thank you guys for watching. And get ready for the next video. Please subscribe and like for more content. Bye. Okay, so.